Aloha. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick video and explain how I've been experiencing uh, this, just ob observing my reality and, and groups of people um, in relation to uh, how we experience our reality and um, really just what what it is that we're doing here when we're talking about stuff like flat earth and the Mandela effect and um, transhumanism and even into politics and intellect in that whole space uh, how I broke it down is that there's there's basically three groups um, on like a on a really basic scale there's three groups of of mindsets that make up the majority of our reality that separate us from uh, the fourth group of of um, it's not necessarily thinking but <clears throat> it's just a and it's not a mindset it's a, a combination of uh, the mind merging with the spirit and understanding the body not necessarily the human body but uh, the earth body the collective body the whole relationship as a whole and um, I just really wanted to make this quick um, observation and share it with you because it, it makes it easier to see how and what's going on and how uh, what we're really um, doing when we're talking to people about flat earth and even um, opening opening up the questions to to anything outside of what is mainstream or what is what is the norm because that is the cancer that is at the heart of what I'm really talking about right now which is these these three this gauntlet of um, conditioning this mainstream programming which is basically based upon uh, distraction belief systems and uh, the idea of intellect so there's there's these sections that are set up in front of us that we go through on our own uh, just like from kids to adolescents to adults and then when we become an adult we think that's the rest of our reality that's what it's based upon uh, we're basically taken to that space outside of uh, when we become adults we we run that program again from when you're out there on your own you go from kids to an adolescent or to a, an adult or you just remain to be uh, a grown a grown individual uh, caught up in distraction uh, so an example of so I'll say them again the, 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 the three sections are, are the three groups of the distractions uh, the distraction based the belief system based and the intellectual based these are all the conditions that lock us into uh, a program of overall limitation just using that as an example, not like locking it in as those words are whatever for anything else. Just as an example of large groups of people, we're, we're mainly locked into distraction-based ideas, belief-based systems, or intellectual ideals. We never really go into the spirit. We never really go into how everything interacts. We never really go into the hows and the whys of our, of our reality. We never really go into being vulnerable. We never really go into being compassionate. We never really go into uh, empathy and um, a, a peaceful uh, interactions or peaceful um, questionings of our reality because the the gauntlet of um, the top three <clears throat> superpowers of our intel of our the top three superpowers of our experience uh, are so um, intertwined within all of our reality 
that it's hard to even even once you get out of um, that space with somebody then the internal defense mechanisms start to take effect which will uh, affect our entire even sometimes our relationships so some examples uh, and then I was going to take it a little further into uh, uh, like flat earth and the Mandela effect and um, just give some examples of how it's all kind of inter intermingled and then how it even affects the the next the, the, the external thought processes or the alternative thinkers or feelers or people questioning their, their reality of understanding and moving into a space of understanding and overstanding their realities um, the first example of a uh, distract of our of our world which is a large majority um, and this is this is just an example of one particular understanding of groups of people because I know that there's there's there, this this the way these three are designed uh, within the fiat currency system, within the maritime admiralty law system, uh, within the separation grid as a whole, this affects all of the poverty all over the world. This affects the groups of individuals who don't even really have the chance to um, be distracted. Like they don't have the internet, they don't have television, they don't have uh, the resources to to do what it is that the people who are distracted in their belief systems and in the intellectual worlds they can't even do that because they are being consistently held down by uh, the system as it exists <clears throat> and um, uh, so yeah that's where the large majority of the, the people are uh, are existing um, as the the pillars, the human pillars to this this condition mindset, this control grid, uh, and yeah, all of it's connected, and it's really up to the people who have the abilities to at least question their reality, question their beliefs, question their intellect, even. And uh, go even further into uh, understanding, understanding, and overstanding their reality to not just affect uh, the people who are caught up in the globe model, but the people who are even suffering as a result of the control grid of the NASA and the university system and the the just ridiculous <clears throat> laws that are created and the terrorist stuff that's going on that's selling certain agendas to expand the control grid uh, instead of face the reality of you know what's really going on here so I'll get into that in a second too briefly but uh, the first example is it's obvious to see is the, the the distraction grid this is the trending page to YouTube and um, this the the distraction grid ties in all of the all of the categories all three of the categories are intermingled they have to be intermingled with belief systems and intellect in order to make the distraction work uh, if it was just focused on coca-cola uh, swimming pools uh, people would lose interest in what the distraction is and start to look into um, something with more depth something with more um, something more so that's one example of <clears throat> how intricate this program is so they have to go from the most absurd shit which you can see is the number one trending thing on here they have to go to the most absurd mix in science mix in news so called news mix in politics mix in technology mix in of course all of the agenda stuff and mix in um, how they want you to believe and then mix in the entertainment 
celebrity stuff. It's all a big um, distraction. Uh, the haves and the have-nots, all of the agendas are pumped in here in order to make you think, feel, act, believe, and um, feel a certain way. So you have, uh, and it's all based within the the uh, patriarchal program, the sexism, the racism, the, everything you can think of is subliminally locked into these these trending algorithms. Um, and there's a trending algorithm of science, there's a trending algorithm of politics, there's a trending algorithm of the mainstream of movies, storylines, books, book releases, timings. Uh, it's no mistake that they did a false flag um, shooting at a gay club a week ago, uh, a week before the Pride weekend. It's no mistake. It's no coincidence that this stuff happens because they utilize the timings of these moments to sell agendas. So <clears throat> when they have Bernie Sanders going on the Colbert show, after all he's been talking about, which is not new, none of that shit is new. It's only new because people in his position just don't speak on those issues. So people who are following, you can see that as one large group of people still believe that one individual is going to be able to change everything. That's a powerless state of being. It's not going to be about one person. If you want that system, then that means you are comfortable with people on the other side of the earth plane being caught up as a result uh, in, in nothing, in the nothing as a result of uh, us not challenging our reality who are who have the ability to at least question <clears throat> what's going on and um, uh, think further beyond this system so this 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 whole Bernie Sanders stuff everything he was talking about he goes on the Colbert show and he's pushing the the gun the gun thing and in order to take your guns they got to say well, we're taking the guns from terrorism, which is largely false flag. It's it's the majority of it all is false flag. It's just they pump it in the mainstream in order to sell the agenda. So they they went they went into Iraq because of uh, the storyline that they had already planned beforehand with nine eleven. Um, they have all these terrorist stuff with ISIS and stuff in order to take your guns away with paperwork, with legislation. Uh, and they don't give a shit about what's going to happen right now. They, they want, they're working with years. They're working with decades. So um, if they have a title or something that says the title of a, of a, of a, some kind of bill that says <clears throat> that's entitled, uh, keep guns away from terrorists. The small writing within that bill is uh, take power away from the masses, give more power to the so-called people in control. That's what all of this leg legislature is about. It's about taking power away uh in increments and they sell emotion they they amplify emotion and distraction in order to get what it is that they want and they will push the limits of false flags and hoaxes and all this shit in order to make you feel a certain way and they'll use these mouthpieces that they get out there to sell an agenda in order to uh, make you feel a certain way be thinking about stuff like uh, keeping guns away from terrorists when their main their main intent with that is to um, have so, any kind of control on the the masses and guns as a whole um, <clears throat> because the the gun thing is the last straw the gun thing is why it's so why guns are so big right now is because um, the fear program is starting to eat itself. It's the last straw. So everybody who, even the, the richest of the rich to the poorest of the poor, 
have guns because the fear program has made people so scared shitless that they buy guns regardless of whatever it's just about security so now that they've pushed people so far with the fear program they have to have um, in order to maintain control beyond a fear program they have to get the power back by um, taking guns away and creating legislature to uh, make you um, feel responsible for that whole process and the fear program of the terrorism is is the way that they do this so they it doesn't matter about anything all that old shit bernie was talking about all that shit doesn't matter because he's really just out there just to make you believe that um what they're telling you about guns and all this stuff is is uh relevant so uh but it's it's the it's the small writing that is really important so within the distraction grid the first group the distraction is um uh everything you can see it from the most absurd ridiculous to the political to the entertainment to the celebrities into the intellect even down to where you even understand how you uh, how you exist on this uh, earth plane this is how so they tell you this is like the cartoon version so they have the cartoon version of reality which is the distraction grid then they have like the TV show version of reality then they have like the the university system of the reality and this is the cartoon version um, <clears throat> that that is interwoven in to make you subconsciously believe that everything is okay because the people who give you your information that these cartoons are based upon are in control they're constantly pushing so-called evolution or whatever and then people get comfortable that they, they just keep going to work and doing whatever it is that they do and that's a large group of this reality the mainstream even if they don't believe in the mainstream anymore or even if they never did as long as they're caught up in the distraction as long as they're caught up in um, somebody else creating their reality for them then it doesn't really matter how they think or what they think about as long as they're distracted so this is the first group and it's all about what's trending what's mainstream what's um what's whatever this is and this um this system is backed up by the belief systems that are passed down by the neil degrasse tysons the uh, bill nyes um the uh, elon musk the uh, celebrities the politicians uh, um, the the scientists this is the belief system of uh, gravity, the belief system of the theory of relativity, all of the theory systems, the globe model as a whole. This is the mid-level thought process grid that is <clears throat> interwoven just like the distraction grid but more with more information and more agenda pushing because now you actually believe your evolution is about merging the human body with um, technology you actually believe that you came from monkeys you actually believe um, that everything was a cosmic mistake and we came from a big bang so your belief systems are deeply rooted within your physical reality to where these so-called physicists are the rulers of how you interpret your reality so they create your belief system. so science being seen as like a religion the scientists and the professors seen as like preachers or pastors um, then and even the Bible they they write the Bible for you so Einstein is like a writer of the belief system Bible that the the CERN community the uh, transhumanism community the TED talks reality that all of these these groups of people who still believe in um, the globe model or the, the fact that somebody else creates their reality are basically excuse me are basically um, um, they're gods in a sense so <clears throat> when science completely writes off uh, any connections 
with your ancestors, the Most High, a great spirit, um, angels, and they ball it up into a religious box and throw it out of the window. They create themselves out to be gods. They create themselves out to be demigods and angels and the creators of your reality. And you fall in that belief system. And anything, anything that comes up that questions that reality that has been backed up and consist consistently uh, emphasized or expanded upon, evolved on a regular basis, uh, confirms your reality on a regular basis. So <clears throat> this is this is the mid level, which is the belief system, uh, belief system reality. So you got distraction levels, then you got belief systems, then you got the intellectual, the intellectual uh, reality, which are the people who are heavily involved. Uh, see, so you don't have to be heavily involved in order to have a belief system, but uh, the people who are heavily involved in like the university system, the people who are like have their master's degrees and PhDs and all this stuff. This is another way to anchor in the reality. And all this stuff is, this is anchored in with like celebrities in movies like Lucy, where you got Morgan Freeman, uh, who is like a scientist in Lucy, Morgan Freeman, who plays God and Evan Almighty or Bruce Almighty and all these movies which keep, create, keep these confusing um, storylines being played uh, in, your, in your thought process and make you powerless and make you not have any kind of idea of how or what to think. But that's not the point. The point is that somebody else is thinking for you. A, a system, the TV, the internet, the mainstream is creating your reality for you as a whole. There's a difference between that and having a connection with your, with your spirit, with your soul, with your soul group, and uh, understanding from that space. This is where the um, the control grid doesn't want to allow people to go, because once you get into that space, then there's no control anymore. So the intellectual people who are out there, they have to hardcore push these agendas like the simulation theory uh, the globe the globe model they were the ones who are pushing the main globe model and the science being the Einsteins the Brian Greens the the Neil deGrasse Tysons the the Bill Nye's the Elon Musk's the uh, all these actual people create this um, stream of thought that the belief system groups uh, are anchored within and that the distraction system individuals are distracted with along with all the other garbage that's out there so <clears throat> all these agendas that get pushed here and there are being put out with this so-called intellectual group of people who are telling you this is how it is, this is what it's about, this is why Neil deGrasse and Bill Nye both have to have this sort of um, science isn't questionable, uh, it, do, it exists without you having to believe in anything, and we are science, so basically everything we say is written in stone, that's it, that's all, shut your mouth, we're smarter than everybody, and that's it. That's what that's how that's the mentality. That is a magic spell. That's a code that um, exists within the people who are stuck in the belief system reality and the distraction grid reality. It keeps people, even and even in the intellectual grid reality, from questioning their intellect, their so-called intellect, to get outside of the boxes that have been created, to get outside of their belief systems um, in in all the all the layers of belief and the belief systems in the intellect because the theory of relativity the theory of gravity the big bang theory the evolution theory these are all intellectual theories that if you take them on into your reality you are still in a belief system you believe in a theory so that's just a theory uh, it, it, it maxes out there and as long as they keep putting out these theories, like simulation theory, um, then they got people locked into another grid. So 
uh, I share this simulation theory because that's what I'm thinking they're going to go into next with uh, another control grid because um, they they have to mirror they have to balance in the the quantum reality with uh, with the physical reality because there's so many people who understand it not to mention they have been pushing the quantum agenda and so-called researching the quantum fields with CERN and all this stuff for so long that it looks kind of obvious that that's where they're going to go in order to distract people from uh, questioning the physical reality as a whole uh, and maybe they'll even reveal some some information about flat earth maybe they'll go into looking at stuff like hollow earth because they had already done that with Admiral Byrd back in the 40s. Uh, we never know, but the main thing is, is that it doesn't matter necessarily um, uh, what they're talking about, it's how they're talking about it, because how they talk about it, it makes you, uh, or as the masses and as the individual, continually wait on your reality to be created for you. And that is the biggest problem right now within the distraction grid, within the belief system grid, and within the intellectual grid is because other entities are creating our experience for us and telling us how to experience our reality. So, and you got people who, who fight over politics, who fight over um, celebrities, who fight over who are fighting on flat earth stuff, who are fighting within hollow earth stuff and all kinds of stuff. Um, the reason why I'm bringing up the hollow earth stuff right now is because the new age, um, revisiting the new age stuff and even like in the beginnings of researching um, the earth stuff, my first, my first uh, research thread started on hollow earth back in like 2011 because I saw a lot of subterranean stuff about like um, interdimensional portals and vortice vortices on the on the earth plane and thinking that there's something going on it's not necessarily a ball and lava and core molten iron or whatever in the middle there's something within this earth and only some years later did I started looking into flat earth but even the flat earth that's not it there's something there with this subterranean stuff that's going on and dimensions it's not like uh just flat like they were saying it's just round it's it's something something more to it and i think that this is how this 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 distraction grid plays it plays on um it plays the extremes of um keeping people distracted or like like it'll keep people completely lost in one sense and then keep people somewhat um, informed in another sense and then they sell you the middle program and as long as they that's how they buy time is by uh, playing in that realm of uh, convincing people to believe in something uh, complete, convincing people to have a so-called intellectual understanding of something and then convincing people that it's okay to just be distracted in your reality because they're the ones in control and then the agendas get sold like the gun gun control stuff the climate change stuff they sell it with fear and uh, control manipulation and they consistently steal time so those are pretty much the, the groups that are out there. Um, Hollow Earth stuff is still definitely on the table as uh, <clears throat> something that might possibly be part of the program or part of the story as a whole uh, with all the secrecy with Antarctica and the Arctic. The Arctic uh, and it's not necessarily how I'm seeing it hollow like as if it were a sphere and hollow because that never felt well. Uh, sat well with me it's something with um planes of existence dimensions and this is how i'm feeling planes of existence dimensions and stuff like that um time travel and all kinds of i don't know um, but it's something there and that's where i'm thinking they might be able to intertwine some kind of like quantum <clears throat> understandings or whatever and they got to play on whatever it is that they've already put out there into the 
collective consciousness in order to maintain their their level of um, control. Um, so seeing that they already had Admiral Byrd back there in the 40s going up to uh, and the Arctic lands and the Antarctica and even Hitler doing Antarctica stuff uh, it's part of the storyline as a whole um, <laughs> no pun intended uh, also the new age community is heavily locked into um, hollow earth stuff with the alien agenda uh, dimensions and um, yeah all the all the storylines as a whole and the, and the new age community is a is a pretty big um, powerhouse group of individuals as far as you know what our future is and all this stuff especially when you lock in all the Lemuria and Atlantean storylines and the the ancient the ancient storylines and all the stuff they talk about on ancient aliens and um, <clears throat> the so-called future uh, yeah just all of it it's um it's all intertwined and like I said my main point is that it's not necessarily uh, what these groups are talking about it's the fact that uh, people need their realities created for them because we've been um, so dormant for so long this is actually what's taking so long for individuals to look further into whatever is breaking their belief systems breaking their distraction systems breaking their intellect systems and questioning their reality as a whole questioning where the information comes as a whole we can't even stop for a second and not believe in like people we trust or whatever. Bernie Sanders two three years ago nobody gave a fuck about Bernie Sanders not one shit about Bernie Sanders now everybody is 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 about like what he's talking about the bankers because they utilized his 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 process to sell storylines that had already been sold by other people so they activate certain energies of certain people at certain times in order to sell a certain agenda and micro agendas so to have him out there talking about bankers and clinton and the uh, corporations for months uh and then all of a sudden be talking about terrorism and gun stuff which is part of the the control grid that he's supposedly going against then you can see that there's there's an intent there they utilize these people to sell these agendas and um, I don't know how they're gonna release like what or even talk about whatever in regards to the flat earth and um, all this other stuff but it's definitely out there existing in a certain way when they got celebrities talking about it and so much information on the internet um, but <clears throat> they'll definitely um, kind of intermingle the Mandela effect in with this quantum reality stuff which fits into the simulation theory stuff that's already out there in the in the scientific Elon Musk technological worlds quantum worlds reality um, and that would be easy for them to kind of co-opt as what's going on but it's basically it uh, I just wanted to share those three, three layers of of uh, programming that's going on. That all is very relevant in one sense, but at the same time, is really um, when it's manipulated a certain way, it it affects us individually and collectively um, pretty deeply. And I just realized it <coughs> um, and wanted to share that as far as how we experience our reality as a whole and uh, how these agendas are going to be manipulated and they're already being manipulated in the future uh, and really just to put out there that there is another way to experience your reality outside of just what you believe in what you're distracted by and how much intellect you have how much you've studied and all this other shit none of that shit really matters if you can't mix everything together and understand it without any any kind of attachment to anything 
by creating other belief systems, but really just freely experiencing your reality and then and then um, expanding it, expanding your consciousness as you grow. Um, so once we start doing that individually, we'll be able to start doing that collectively. Um, and right now, each individual who is coming into this this alternative uh, thought process or even connection when they're questioning their realities of all the agendas, all the programs uh, that are out there and moving into uh, reconnecting with understanding a purpose and a meaning um, and a connection with a, a spirit or a soul or the most high and and uh, seeing there's something more to the, what just what these people these distractions are, are out here like uh, Neil deGrasse going to the Senate a couple hours like, you know recently and talking to uh, talking about um, give NASA more money because that's what you know makes power or something like that and we don't have to go to war in order to uh, or we don't have to be at war in order to 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 put more money into space um, programs and all this stuff is we get our power from intellect and all this other see all that shit it's all intertwined the professors and scientists are all intertwined with celebrities and politics and that's like the intellectual distraction grid that's out there that has us falling into other entities creating our reality for us and that's that's like the biggest the biggest problem there if we if we weren't if all that stuff was just to shut down then we would be forced to understand our reality from our own perspectives from our own research from our own questioning and talking to each other which is happening even more so now when people are talking about flat earth and the Mandela effect and all kinds of stuff so it's happening slowly but surely um, but I just wanted to share like how I was seeing how I was seeing all of these groups out there and thought processes so that's pretty much it so thank you for joining me and uh, until next time from all my relations peace love and harmony